It is really important to have a very structured routine when you're teaching junior high students from the beginning to the very end. It's very well planned out. My students have been trained since the very first week of school that they come in, they take out their planner, they write down their objectives. Um, if they need to um, have a pass signed, their planner has to be out for that. And then we go right into the warm up, into the structured lesson, and then into the closure. So if you do not have um, specific structure of your routine of your day, um, that is for sure going to lead to disaster. So my students, basically, they know what to expect every day. It's familiar. And due to that, um, I feel that I have pretty good classroom management. It is really important to make sure that your students are engaged um, throughout the lesson. Number one, so that they are learning, they wanna to come to your class, they want to be interested in what they're learning about. And if they're engaged, you're not going to have a lot of discipline issues. So the way that I check would be weekly quizzes, questions, um, projects, different things like that. Um, sometimes I have my students email me, I'll present a question and they have to email me their responses. I also give motivational rewards out. Right now we're reading the novel, The Call of the Wild. So they're really enjoying that when they answer a question correctly, they receive a bark box, which will give them extra points on a quiz, or they will uh, be able to leave with a friend early, or it will give them an opportunity to go to the front of the lunch line and cut everybody. So doing those things, um, playing games like Quizlet and Book It, are also fun ways, uh, especially digitally, to keep children involved in the lesson. Some of the issues that um, I am dealing with this year, um, the aftermath of COVID, the shutdown, a lot of students are lacking social skills. Um, but my biggest problem that I'm still dealing with this year is the attendance. Parents keep their kids home. Students are really suffering from anxiety. So with that said, them missing school days, they come back and um, their grade drops. So that has been an ongoing problem since the first day of school with the same students. Some of the ways that I incorporate cooperative learning um, would be the arrangement of my room. Um, I ordered tables probably uh, quite a while ago, and that helps um, to have students pair up. Typically, this time of the year, I don't do this all of the time uh, because I know that when you overdo things, um, the novelty wears off. But um, I typically have my students join up, and I put them in what I call wolf packs. Uh, right now, they are separated because of testing, but by next week, they'll go back into their wolf packs and they get to work as groups um, when they're answering questions, they're working on a book project, and so forth. Those are types of things that really help students help one another, pairing them up with the higher learners, the role models in your class to keep the continuity going in your lessons and different things like that. And students love to help one another for sure, especially students that are shy. Um, they may have students in the class or within their group that will become very vocal for them. And that gives other students the opportunity in class to be superstars because they feel like they're taking the role of the teacher. And um, I see that changing by providing different roles for different students. I use a lot of different methods to check for understanding. Um, I'm giving quizzes uh, quite frequently, quick quizzes, to see where my students are at, if they're comprehending the novel that we are reading. I also provide them with a study guide and I also make sure that if they are not learning um, the material, they've been absent, they're not quite getting it, I do offer um, tutoring a couple of times a week. I sit down with a peer group of students and I go over the questions with them. 
and I try to pinpoint the areas where they're struggling because that tells me that I did not a teach it correctly or I need to review a little bit more.